All right, so this is my well setup. We found that we had a two inch casing steel, galvanized steel well that had been originally put on the property. Um, there was no pump on it, so we thought let's get a pump and try it out. So it didn't work and we had to replace what are called the leathers. So we had to pull the pipe out and there was that roof that had to be cut so that we could yank the pipe out. It was a galvanized steel pipe, about 60 feet of it, with the little filter and the leathers on the end of it, which had to be replaced. So after pulling it, we had to put it back. And then we put this Stahlright MSE above ground, uh, non-submersible pump. We primed it by filling this up, taking this off, filling it up with water. This is a little drain for air. So you open this up and the air will come out once this starts flowing with water. You cover it back up, fill it all the way up, cover it up. This is my piping. We've got a 36 gallon tank and a little shut off valve running to the sprinkler. We wanted to keep it still hooked up to the city just in the event that we need it. So this is still hooked up. And again, this is just for irrigation, but I guess I could drink it if I really wanted to and put a filter on it. This is your standard T valve. Okay, with the pressure gauge. The tank needs to be set to 28 PSI. It's already pre-filled to 30 or some number, so you can just empty it if you need to. Get a little tire pressure gauge. Other videos might show that. I had put a check valve on here, um, but I had to take that off because that wasn't right. And there are two little things that you can see on this pump. There's this little thing on the back which you tighten or loosen to get the right pressure from the pump. And then there's this spring on top, which also possibly needs to be tightened to get the right pressure also on the pump. So when you're tightening and loosening this one, you want the pressure to jump between like 30 and 50. It's kind of like a sweet spot, like on a clutch. And as you're tightening this one, you want to tighten it all the way till the pump shuts off at 60 pressure. It says 50 right now just because I used a little bit of water filling some stuff up. But the pump should turn back on at 30. My, my issue that I was having since I had that check valve is that the water was draining and it shouldn't be. But now everything's tight and working just like it's supposed to. This is the old, uh, I think they're called like, I don't even know, pressure check valves. I ended up shutting these off because again, this is the main line coming in underneath and it came up to here. This is the irrigation. And then the main line goes into the house. So basically, if I want to, I can shut this water off. No more well water, or I do want well water, but that way it's not coming back through here because the water goes this way. So hopefully this video helped you out. We put 220 wiring on this, coming from that box over there. Be careful with that, with this water. Put the little whip on there to keep it liquid tight, no water getting in. Yeah. And that's it.